Welcome back. Well, in case you didn't know, February is actually National Children's Dental Health Month, which focuses attention on the fact that mo more than half children in the U.S. suffer from tooth decay. And just a reminder, if left untreated, cavities can negatively impact a child's health and well-being and have even been linked to poor academic performance. So I'm happy to say that joining us today is Dr. Maria Ryan of Colgate Palmolive Company, and they're on a mission to create a zero-cavity future for all. Welcome, Dr. Maria Ryan. It's great to see you. Hi, Anessa. Thank you for having me on your show. Well, these stats continue to be staggering, Dr. Ryan. Why is it, do you think, that cavities continue to be such a problem for our young children? Well, I think, you know, it's very important that children have great oral health habits, they see the dentist frequently, and that their diet is good. And really not having a lot of sugars is very important to that. And, and you know, if they develop cavities, if they're left untreated, it'll impact their health, causing pain and discoloration and eventual tooth loss. And more recent findings show it impacts their social and emotional well-being, you know, creating a lack of self-esteem and, and, and poor um, academic performance. And, and that's why Colgate is on a mission to create a zero cavity future for everybody. As you mentioned earlier, really raising awareness about cavities and improving on health habits. Well, so much is connected with our smile and the confidence that comes from it. I'm so interested to hear about the zero cavity future for all. Can you tell us about it? Well, cavities are preventable if we have good oral health habits. So, you know, we reinforce that uh, children and adults need to brush twice a day with a fluoride containing toothpaste, floss at least once a day and, and use mouth rinses as needed. But with children as a parent, as a dentist, I know how hard it is to get them to do that. So we've really been working hard to make oral care fun. And so we have a, a new kids hum toothbrush uh, with augmented reality and lots of fun games and rewards for good you know, toothbrushing. We have lots of great flavors in our toothpaste that make it fun for kids to brush. And, you know, we've been taking action over the past 30 years with a program called Bright Smiles, Bright Futures, which provides oral health education and, and free dental screenings for communities in need in over 80 countries. And we've already reached 1.3 billion children, and, and we have a goal to reach 2 billion children by the year 2025. And, and this program has lots of fun learnings uh, for parents, for teachers, and, and great reading materials for kids, appropriate ages, et cetera, in 30 languages online. Oh, wow. Congratulations on all the success. And it, it always seems like in order to make it resonate with kids, you got to make it fun. And you guys nailed that. Uh, talk to me about the pandemic, the times we're living in. Has that changed oral health with children at all? Yeah, the pandemic, you know, like everything, has made um, oral health, optimal oral health, even harder because less uh, children are seeing the dentist. Um, there are changes in their health habits uh, because they're learning remotely. Um, and, you know, there was a recent paper that uh, cited dental care as the number one unmet need for children during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that that parents, you know, set a good are good role models uh, and reinforce all of the things that we talked about with their children and, and use uh, fun things like uh, hum kids to get them to brush and, and, and look at the materials that uh, can educate them while they're at home and, and help them to, to keep their kids on track because it's really important during these times. That's right. Well, Dr. Ryan, thank you so much for all of that great information. You've motivated us for change. We will head to colgate.com for more information. You have a wonderful day.